Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Wreckers Encounter Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Wreckers Encounter, Wreckers Encounter Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Wreckers Encounter, Wreckers Encounter Hardshell has claimed to have offline several wreckers, though it's unknown what were the names of those wreckers he killed. Evidence to support this claim can be seen from the scars on his chest and his lengthy battle periods against Bulkhead later. Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Earth Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Earth, controlled by Arachnid Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Earth, controlled by Arachnid Hardshell and his brothers found their way to Earth and locked themselves in stasis later to be discovered by Arachnid. The Insecticons were temporarily controlled by Arachnid but declared their allegiance to Megatron and joined the crew of the Nemesis. Hardshell and his brethren were forced into stasis lock when the Nemesis became sentient and zapped the whole crew complement in stasis. Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Earth, Icon Relic Hunt, Fighting Bulkhead Megatron called for the most ferocious Insecticon. Hardshell put his name forward, and was sent with three other Insecticons to a volcanic region near the equator to search for an Icon Relic. He encountered Bulkhead and fought the Wrecker, but came off second best and lost his left mandible into the ordeal. After recovering, his Insecticon companions found him as he picked himself off and realized Bulkhead left him alive which he stated it would be the last mistake Bulkhead old ever make before transforming off with the other Insecticons. They followed for the relic that was containing a small amount of Tox-N, an Energon variant. One of the Insecticons fell for a trap set by Bulkhead who deployed a bomb in the container with a piece of Tox-N. Hardshell warned the Insecticons but the one who opened the container was infected with Tox-N and they were forced to watch it suffer from the Tox-N exposure as Hardshell reported it to Megatron. They attempted to track Bulkhead, who had taken most of the Tox N, and after following a false trail the Autobot had left, eventually caught up with him in a volcano's crater. Though Bulkhead was weakened by the Tox N, he managed to expose Hardshell to enough Tox N to severely weaken him. During a small fight, Hardshell was able to deliver a blow on Bulkhead and was about to finish the Autobot off until he was thrown by the Tox N by Bulkhead to be exposed more to it. The Autobot used his mace to get Hardshell near the vent of the volcano where he hurled the Tox-N at Hardshell, knocking him into the vent. While the Tox-N was destroyed, Hardshell survived the fall and climbed out of the volcano. He angrily blasted Bulkhead in the back as Bulkhead stepped through the ground bridge. Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Earth, Mission Aftermath returning to the Nemesis, Hardshell faced Megatron scolding by failing to bring the Tox-N but mollified his master by relating the news that Bulkhead had been terminated, but Knockout got on Hardshell's nerves by stating that his Insecticon partner turned out to be useless. Hardshell snarled at him and when Megatron asked if Hardshell was certain that Bulkhead was executed, Hardshell stated Bulkhead was by his very own hand. As Hardshell gloated about his victory to two of his Insecticon brothers, two Viacons then got on his nerves when they called him and the Insecticons, pit-bound scavengers and scrap-eaters, resulting in a brawl which made Knockout tell Megatron that they should be contained after a minor scratch to the chest when Hardshell inadvertently punched him. When they had a call from Wheeljack a short time later with the news that Bulkhead wasn't dead after all, Hardshell tried to reason that Bulkhead could not have survived the wounds he received in the battle. Megatron angrily demanded Hardshell return with Wheeljack's spark instead. Hardshell, Transformers Prime, Earth, Fighting Wheeljack, Death, the Insecticon found the Wrecker at an Energon mine and the pair clashed, with Hardshell easily able to elude Wheeljack's grenade and eventually dominating the fight to the point where Wheeljack was on the ground and defenseless. As Hardshell stood over him, ready to deliver a killing blow, he was blasted by a pair of missiles from Miko who was piloting the jackhammer, thus destroying Hardshell's spark and killing him for good. Hardshell's corpse was taken back to the Nemesis by the other Insecticons, where one of them had informed Megatron that a human girl was responsible for Hardshell's sudden death, which shocked and surprised Megatron a little. Hardshell was mentioned by Miko in Out of the Past. In Chain of Command, Wheeljack mentioned to Ultra Magnus that Miko saved his life from Hardshell and Miko mentioned Hardshell as a comeback at Starscream, 